Chantel's on Zoom, or someone from Plus is on Zoom. All right, the music isn't so loud. Let's see. All right, it is 11.30, so we will begin. Again, listen to the body, make sure you can breathe and not hold, have to hold the breath. If you're holding the breath, then maybe you're, you should take a break. All right, because your breath work is super important. Oxygen coming into the muscles is really important. You don't want to build up more lactic acid than you already will be building. Um, so nice deep breaths in. All right, anyone? Let's see. You are recording. Okay. All right. Good. So I like to start on the back. So taking your time. I like to just slowly just assess how the core feels. So maybe having your knees bent. Lifting up good posture, keeping the core engaged. Hands come forward and just slowly come back, maybe a few degrees, and then come forward. Just notice how the core is feeling. Come back maybe a little bit further. Breathe, keep breathing, and then come forward. And exhale. 
Inhale up, reach up with the top of the head, and all the way down. Exhale, all the way down. Use your elbows if you need to. And extend the body. Notice how the sides here, your obliques, your abdominals, your quads, glutes, point the toes towards you, and you'll feel the legs engage, your quads begin to engage as you focus on that, and begin to engage your glutes. Belly button gently presses towards the floor. This is proper form here for your abdominal region, for your core. Your Legs are gently engaged, your glutes are engaged, your core is engaged. This helps to protect your lower back from any major strain. Always listening to your spine, your lower back for issues, the entire body. Extend the arms out, reach out to the side, opening up the chest. Inhale, lift, extend over the head. Send fingertips away from the heels. And then slowly bring hands down by the side, palms are down. Slowly lift your right leg, keep the core engaged, point flex. Breathe. Maybe rotate the ankle. Still holding that core gently, still breathing. And drop it down. Keeping the right leg engaged, core is engaged, abdominals, glutes, lift the left heel slowly. Just a few inches, it doesn't have to be very high, point flex. Your back, your head fully supported on the floor, not lifting, not creating any strain in your upper body. Breathe. Rotate if you'd like. Just assessing how the core feels, how your leg, how your ankles are feeling, and dropping it down. Joint movements are so important, especially as we get older. Move it slowly. We're going to press the hands to the floor, engage your core, creating a C shape with your belly. Belly button towards the floor, and slowly lift up both feet. Notice how that feels if you need to just one leg at a time, do so. Open up and close. 10, 9, keep the core. 8, 7, if the core falters, stop. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Bring it in. And slowly lift right leg down, left leg down, right leg higher. Breathe, holding it here. And down, left leg higher. Holding it here. And down, slowly engage that core, keep it engaged. Breathe, and exhale, lift up to about 45, 60 degrees. Holding it here. Maybe a little higher, about 80 degrees. And now 90, breathe. Exhale slowly, very slowly, down. Just notice how the back feels. If you have any sensitivity, be real mindful. Use your hands maybe under your back to support yourself a little bit more. And you may feel your lower back squeezing against the hands as we come up again, reaching up. Feel the support the hands provide. Belly button pressing down and lift all the way up nine degrees. Breathe. Notice even the shoulders relax more as you have those elbows bent and hands under your uh, lower back. Just be mindful. Exhale, come all the way down. Good. Arms come up, extend. So learn, you can always use Support with your hand. You can even use a blanket underneath your lower back if you have sensitivity. Reaching up, bending the knees side to side. Just notice how the stretching of the side of the body feels. And then slowly, we're going to bring the heels close to the hips. They don't have to touch. But make sure those knee, your knees are over the heels. About 
hip width apart for the feet and the thighs. We're going to just start assessing our lower back. Press your hands to the floor, press the forearms to the floor, and slowly begin to lift the hips up towards the ceiling. Breathing, holding here, exhale slowly down. No issues with your back or hips or your knees or even your ankles. Deep breath in and then maybe try it again. Inhaling up, holding here for five, four, three, two. Squeeze those glutes, exhale all the way down. Take your time, breathe. And feel that belly button come to the floor. Feel the back, lower back reaching the floor and then lifting the belly up, feel the tailbone reach and press into the floor as your lower back arches. Inhale, press the belly button back, tailbone rises, and we're gonna come up 10 times, all right? Quick movements here, use your breath, inhale up, squeeze, exhale down. Inhale up, squeeze, and exhale down. Knees are pointing forward, this three, Four, five, use your breath to guide you. Six, seven, eight, squeeze those glutes on top. Nine, and hold for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Slowly dropping it down. Windshield wipers, slowly releasing any tension. Deep breath in, exhale out as you bring these to one side. Deep breath in, inhale, knees up. Exhale over, dropping them down. Take your time, bring the knees in, gently massage the lower back. Notice how it feels. If it's sensitive today, just be real mindful. Don't do as many repetitions or just not come up as high, or it may be even just avoid an exercise. All right, squeeze those knees in, feel the thighs press into your abdominal region, and then bring the knees up, lower leg parallel to the floor, palms by the side. Remember that contraction, the engagement of when, of when we first began of the core and the glutes and the legs? Right now, they're engaged, even here. But we're going to do some toe taps. We're going to tap one foot, then the other. Here we go. We're going to go for 30 of these. Do what you can. As long as you maintain form, continue with me. And if the form falters, then just take a break. Here we go. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, three, 11, 12. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, corn is forming, 22, 23, 24, 25, 6, 27, 28, 29, 30. You got this. Bring the feet down. Extend right leg, then left. Extend the entire body. Deep breath in. Exhale. One more set of toe taps. We're going to go for 60 toe taps. Do what you can. Again, as long as you can maintain your form, holding the form and breathing, then do up until that point. So if you can do 60, great. If you can do 40, great. If you can do 15, great. Here we go. Deep breath in and begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, breathe, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, halfway there, 32, 3, 34, 35, 36, 7, 38, 39, how's the form, 41? 43, 44, breathe, 46, 7, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, almost there, 55, 56, 
57, 58, 59, 60. Ah, feet down, extend right leg, left foot. Entire body stretch, breathe, massage your lower back, knees in. Squeeze them gently into the abdominal. And dead bug. Ready? This is where a block or a ball can be useful. I had mentioned this before. Again, I like to use a ball. I have one, so it's convenient. You can always use a block. The ball, I find, adds a little weight for me, so I'm all right with that. And I'll place that ball there. You can use a yoga ball. So if you have a nice Pilates or yoga ball, use those. All right, holding. And gently holding the ball to the knees. We're going to extend right arm, left leg, while still maintaining the ball onto a knee. Bring it back and then switch. Really extend the body, extend the arm and leg as you hold the core in. So deep breath in. We're going for 14. Do what you can do. Here we go for one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You can do this four more. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. Bring it in. Press that ball to the ball. Gently massage side to side. We're going to do another set. Fourteen reps. Do what you can do. If you found, if you're new to this, I always recommend going half. See how you feel the next day, and then continue working up to 14 or whatever number it is your goal is. Shoulders up and back. Ball back on the knees. We're going to start with the left arm, right leg, opposite side from what we started with. Deep breath in and begin. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Four more if you can. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. Bring it in. Extend the legs. Bring the ball out over the head. We're going to basically create a pipe formation with our body. We're going to keep the head down though. Like I said, I'll modify these in order to keep the head and neck position um, in, in line and so that we're not straining or tensing or creating any sort of uh, jerking motion with the neck. So we're going to bring the arms up, bring the legs up. If you'd like, you can keep the ball or whatever you have. If you have anything in the hand and then bring feet and hands down together at the same time. Or you can, if you'd like, switch, add a little fun to this and bring it down and up. And if it falls out and goes away, oh well, it's okay. You're just moving and working the ass. All right, here we go. Deep breath in, exhale up for uno, down, dos. Down, count with me, you like this. Down, remember your old Spanish class. Cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, and yes, breathe, extend. Woo, you probably felt that. Here we go. We're going to do one more set again. We're doing ten, count of 10, do what you can do. So if you've just started for the first time doing abs in this class, go half the number. All right, you don't have to go the full number. You're at home, so no one will know. I won't know. Deep breath in, and let's begin. Up for uno, dos. Tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, 
Siete. Ocho. Nueve. Diez. Breathe. Extend. Good job. All right. We're going to bring that ball up to our chest. We're going to lift it over the chest. And we're just gently going to start working obliques. We're going to bring the ball over to the right. Your head can turn and look to the right. And then lift it up. And then bring it over to the left. All right. We're slowly just working and stretching the obliques. So here we go. You can bend the knees and add an extra twist if you like as your the knees come to the other side. So as you bring the you know, your prop your hands to the right, bring the knees to the left. All right, that's an option. You don't have to do it. Here we go. And arms to the right. One. Back up. To the left. Two. Back up. To the right. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Breathe. And slowly, dropping that prop if you're using one. We're going to lift the feet up to the ceiling. Press them up as if you're trying to hold that ceiling up. Bring the hands by the hips. We're going to lift the hips, heels to the ceiling. All right, so if you need to look, just watch. Otherwise, begin with me. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Breathe. Bring that fingertips pointing up to the ceiling. Right, legs are still up. And this is the one where just be mindful of your neck. If you do have neck issues, you can, uh, two things, you can try and keep and make sure the head is in line with the spine as you bring the shoulders up, heart lifts. Or if you're finding you have stress in the neck, see about bringing the chin up and then lift the shoulders and keep that chin locked into the chest towards the heart. All right, and see if that helps. If not, then just do hip lifts again. All right, and keep the head down. Here we go. Deep breath in for 10, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and you feel the burn. Shake it out, knee side to side. All right, one more set, hip lifts, and then shoulder lifts. Press those heels up, hands by the hips, and here we go, for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And hold it up here, hands come up, any modifications you need to do, please do them. And lift the heart. Really think about lifting the heart for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Hold it there for ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ah, oh, good job. Relax, knee side to side. Deep breaths in, get all that oxygen in, release all that old air. Everything the body doesn't want, all the toxins, it's releasing all that CO2. Let's exhale deeply out so that you have more space to inhale fresh oxygen. Good, deep breath in. We're gonna roll onto the side and up into a seated position. You're gonna support your back with your hands. I like to be able to bend the elbows, so whatever that takes. For me, I like to have fingertips pointing towards my hips. 
Um, but it could be that it's easier for your shoulders to have the fingers outside, pointing out away from the hips, or even back away from the feet. So adjust yourself as you need to. Deep breath in. And slowly, we're just going to lift up the right leg. Breathe. See if you can lift the heart at the same time, trying to almost withdraw from the hands, releasing some weight from the hands. And then switch. Right leg down, left leg up. And 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Light toe taps. And 10. Breathe. Lift up with the heart. Notice how the lower back feels. All right. What we're going to do is called a Russian twist. You can use a weight, you can use a prop of any sort, something or nothing at all. So you don't have to use a weight. And we'll just come around and just touch the sides. So we use the ball and we did the gentle rotations on our back. You can do that too. It's much gentler than what we're doing now. So that's an easier modification if you prefer laying on your back and just twisting around. Otherwise, we hold up. And here you're holding your abdominals in. Notice how your lower back feels. No sensitivity, then continue. Sensitivity, then maybe just get on your back and move side to side, like we did initially. Press those feet to the floor. And we're gonna come around to the right, maybe touch the floor, you don't have to. Come back and maybe touch the other side. We're gonna go for 10 of these two sets. Do what you can do. Here we go. Smile. You got this. And 10, 9, 8. How's your four? Seven, six, five. Breathe. Four, three, two, one. Coming up. Lift, come forward and stretch your lower back. Breathe. Lift up to deep, to breathe deeper. One more set. You've got this. If you'd like to add a little extra challenge, you lift up the opposite leg in which you twist. All right. Again, you can do this on your back. Here we go. Recline back. Find that edge where you're working your back and your core and right left leg. Left right leg. Here we go. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, lift up, reach forward, stretch your lower back, extend the fingers as far as they can go. And dropping that weight. Hold, bring your hands back behind you. We're gonna come into Navasana, also known as boat pose in English. You do what you can do with this one. All right, so we're gonna maybe lift up the right leg and hold it here. Your core is engaged, belly button back, heart is lifting. Nice long spine. Switch, just feel how the left foot is, how the left leg feels. And then ready both legs up. Breathe. Keep your core and do and hold this as long as you can. You can even support underneath the thigh. For a full boat pose, you can extend the arms and maybe the legs. Again, wherever you're at, Hold it there as long as you can breathe and maintain your form. For five, four, three, two, one. Exhale down, come forward, stretch your lower back. You've got this. All right, coming onto our knees, we're gonna just gently open up, move the joints of your vertebra, coming into a tabletop position. If you need any sort of cushion for your knees and you have it nearby, blankets, even pillows, or even your wrists, do so. You should not stay here very long though. So keep your core in, again, it's pressing up towards the ceiling, towards your spine. Top of the head reaching forward. Pressing your toenails into the floor. Your knees are underneath your hips. And we're going to gently press that belly button up high, up high. Arms begin to extend. Chin to chest. Exhale back to neutral. Inhale long. 
And then exhale, lift the heart. The belly drops gently, recurving the, the spine in the opposite direction, flexing it. Inhale, back to neutral. Exhale, belly button up, reaching up, back to neutral. Inhale, exhale, into out. Breathe. Now we're going to work some core using opposite limb extensions. So we're going to be balancing and working the core. Find a focal point on the floor for your eyes to gaze and keep balance. Extend the left heel back, reaching back. Now maybe you can extend the right hand. And you're extending, breathing, not holding the breath, holding here. Right toes are gripping into the floor gently. Back we go. Back to tabletop. Deep breath in. Exhale, right heel back. Left hand forward. Reach, reach, reach. Again, find your focal point. Hold, but not your breath. Breath is flowing. Need that oxygen. So important. Bring it back. Knees are under the hips, hands under the shoulders. We're going to try it one more time. We're going to add a challenge to this one. Extend right arm, left leg. Oh, breathe. Now for balance. See about bringing those right toes up off of the mat. Notice how important they are for your balance. Have fun with this. Exhale down. Your core is working here. The stronger the core, the easier it is to balance. Right leg back, left hand forward. Now, challenge, bring the left toes up. Woo, breathe, you got this. Exhale down, press the knees apart. Extend back child's pose, stretch it out. If you need blankets or anything underneath your hips for support, do so. And gently relax the wrists. Right here, the wrists need a little break too. Move the hips side to side, We're stretching your lower back gently. Inhale, come forward. I had a really good question from someone last week as to wrist being painful in, or having some discomfort in their wrists when they were doing their planks. And you can always come onto your elbows into a plank position, hands down, and bring the tailbone down. If you have no issues with the wrists, then come up into your plank, onto your hands. But always a modification is on your wrists, so that's just a modification. So we're going to come into plank. If you're still in child's pose, come forward. Choose your plank, either on elbows or on your wrists. Core is in. Squeeze your legs, your glutes, shoulders are back, long neck. And we're holding for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bring your left leg up, come on to and start to rotate the heart over to the left into a side plank. Do what you can do. Again, you can be on your elbow for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Come into your plank, half plank or full plank. Coming back, find your Four strong, deep breaths for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And right leg up and on top of the left. Bring the heart towards the left, reaching up or onto the hip for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one. Bring the hand back down. Left knee, right knee over. Back. Press into your child's pose. Breathe. Relax. Get your oxygen. Uh, 
coming up and down completely. We're going to do some lower backward glute work. All right, if you know some yoga poses, we call these leg lifts. Lotus pose, cobra, sphinx. All right, all these work to strengthen your lower back. So important for posture to have a strong back. You're gonna bring elbows underneath the shoulders. Palms are down. And just notice how your lower back is feeling. Begin to engage the legs, and this helps to protect the lower back. So quads are strong, your kneecaps are coming off the floor. Maybe feel your toenails pressing into the mat. Gently engaging glutes. Your quads are really important for protecting the lower back, and then lift the heart as high as it's comfortable. Shoulders back towards your heels. Think of those shoulders pressing towards the heels and the chin is parallel to the floor. Breathe. You've got this for five, four, three, two, one. Bring the elbows out. Bring the palms under the shoulders. Elbows are nice and high. Feel the arms tight by the ribs. Bring the feet a little wider apart. Press those toenails into the floor. And we're going to come into a baby cobra. Engage your quadriceps. Feel the kneecaps come off the floor. And then slowly press up just a little bit. Just bring the heart off the floor. Eyes look down in front of you. Maybe a foot. Not much more. Your neck is still gently in line, not pressing up. Mind the cervical spine. Breathe. Exhale down. One more baby cobra. Maybe a little bit higher, but not much. And slowly lift. Feel the elbows by the ribs, maybe. Eyes look maybe forward, two feet, max. And if you can, Really engage your quads and lift the hands. Breathe. Really good, strong strengthening for the lower back. All those muscles are at the spine working. Glutes. Exhale down. You're going to bring the hands by the hips, palms down. Reaching those fingertips close to the thighs. Your chin or your mouth are on your mat or floor. You're kissing it. I'm going to move it to the side so you can hear me. Can't talk into that mat. And I'm going to lift the left leg. Really squeeze those left glutes as you lift up as high as you can. Breathe. Feel that left glute working. Lower back for five, four, three. Two, one, exhale it down. Nice deep breaths in. Exhale everything out. Ready for the right leg. Here we go, kiss that mat. Deep inhale and exhale, lift the right leg all the way up. For five, four, three, two, one. Exhale it down, you got this. Good. All right, this is a challenging one. We're going to lift both the heart and the legs. You can just do the legs if you wish, or you can just do the heart. So you can choose to just alter this pose. So slowly bring the arms out to the side like wings, slightly angled towards the feet. Begin to engage your quadriceps, your glutes. Feel the belly button pressing away from the floor. Kneecaps away from the floor. And then when you're ready, begin to lift the arms and the legs. Heart lifts. Mindful of your cervical spine. Try and keep it nice and long. Breathe for five, four, three, two, one. Exhale it down. Bring the arms forward, Superman. Same idea. 
but maybe it's easier for the shoulders or not. So you can keep the arms down and go through four. And we're gonna lift, each count is a lift. All right, 10 times, do what you can do. All right, so if it, five is enough for you, then it's great, that is wonderful. Five is fantastic. We're gonna try for 10, set your goal. Here we go. And five, 10, sorry, nine, eight, seven, six, five, halfway there, four, three, two, and one. Ooh, heart rate is up now. Bring your head to the mat, facing the left side. Relax, the palms are up, shoulders are down. Take your time, get your breath back. We're gonna turn on to our backs. If you have that resistance band or a belt or, or uh, even a yoga strap, we're gonna stretch out a little bit. So shoulder blades on the floor, bring the knees in, squeeze them in, gently massage your lower back. <clears throat> All right, if you have that band, bring it to the right bottom of your toes. And extend the left leg out and extend the right leg up. Bring it in as close to your head as possible. Try and straighten the leg as much as is comfortable for you. Left quad, left half into the floor. And then slowly guide the right leg out to the side. Be mindful of your hip. If you need to adjust, please do. Maybe even placing a pillow or something under the leg for support so that it does not extend any further. And breathe. Left arm out into a T. Opening up the chest. Breathing deeply in. Exhale completely out. Notice if you can release tension with the breath with each exhale, wherever it may be, be it the hips, be it the shoulders, the feet, the hands, the face. Inhale, lift the right leg up. Switch hands, left hand might reach for that strap. I'm meant to scoot over that space. And slowly begin to bring that right leg over the left, right hip will come off the floor. Try and keep both shoulders onto the floor. And breathe. Remember, use your exhale to see about releasing tension. Notice where you may have a whole tension. See if you can release and focus on that area. Maybe it's the hip now. Maybe it's the hamstring. Maybe it's your shoulder. Deep inhale, begin to lift. Really keep that left calf to the floor now. Reach up with the right leg. Bend that knee, squeeze it in and switch sides. Left knee in, squeezing. And bring your strap, if you have one, to the lower part of your toes. Extending up as much as you can, bringing toes towards your face. Feel that extension and slowly right arm out into a T. Press the right calf to the floor as you extend the left leg out away from the body. Both hips to the floor, both shoulders are on the floor. Holding it here. Feel the gentle stretch in the legs. And as we twist, you'll feel the stretch come up through the hips, the glutes, and the lower back. 
Deep breath in, switching hands. Left arm out and exhale. Left leg over the right. Feel that stretch through the left hip, maybe the lower left region of your back. Breathe. Deep breath in, lifting up, reaching up, press through the heel, bend the knee, squeeze it in. Let's both again, feels good, nice wide legs this time. Opening up inner groin muscle. Extend both legs up, maybe hold behind the knee or the thigh. And dropping it down. Reaching up, pressing the entire body away from each other, just standing, maybe gently coming over to the right with the feet and the arms, but not the hips. Feel a gentle stretch on your left side. Inhale back to center. And maybe walk your feet to the left, hands to the left as well. So lower left for feet, upper left for hands. Feel a gentle stretch on your right side now. Back to center. Reaching up. And good job, everyone. Excellent workout. All right, time for lunch. I'm glad you could make it today. And again, I think about all those who couldn't because maybe here in Hampton Roads, when you're still out of power. So it's, it's a tough situation for people. It's kind of warm and hot so and humid. So we pray for those who are stuck without any uh, air conditioning or a cool place to be. So I'll keep those in my, in my intentions in my mind today and hope that power is restored soon for all those in North Carolina, South Carolina as well. So if anyone has been affected, uh, you are in my thoughts. So by Isaias, I believe it's, it was a tough one. So be good, be kind, and have a great day. Thank you for coming. And I may see you for Yin if you wish. Tomorrow, oh, today at two or 11 o'clock ish tomorrow for chair yoga. Take care. Bye bye. Bye, Usha. Glad you were here.